Hello. It's been a long time since I've been here. As always, I do long gaps. Uh, hopefully this time I will manage to be consistent. Um, today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of two watches. One is this, the other one we'll see in a minute or so. Uh, one is significantly cheaper than the other. Both are from AliExpress. Significantly in AliExpress numbers, obviously. So this one costs $17.53. If this is the one I think it is. And well, without further ado, let's get into it. Leatherman Wave, for those who do not know the tool, those who do, one of the best, in my opinion, tools that Leatherman have ever made. Okay, I was right. But which watch came where? As you can see, no box. All that was in there. Don't need that anymore. Here's the watch. Take it out of its packaging. This is the watch. Uh, strap is a little bit wrapped with whatever this thing is. Let's see what this actually is. Oh, they use the instruction manual to wrap it. Cute. Cute. Other protections on the watch. I don't see a sticker on there i do see one on the clasp and that's pretty much it it claims to be an automatic and when you look at that it actually is yep i can do that okay there's the movement very basic looking movement unbranded in any way shape or form the back says steel back uh, tm142 and stainless so stainless steel back tm142 it's a fairly large watch for the style. You can see it's already ticking, it was ticking away there. So obviously it works, which is surprising. An automatic dress style watch, even though it is very thick for 17 and a half bucks. Date is obviously not set. Let's set it real quick. Not quite sure, but I think the Six o'clock might be a little bit off. Can't quite tell from the angles. I'm, I'm seeing the thing. The dial's nice. The dial is a sort of white, uh, kind of sunburst, but the dial is actually kind of nice. Okay, so the time and date have been set. This watch does not. No, it does hand wind. Uh, so generally, you know what? I actually think it's kind of cute. I'll wear it for a day or two. Leather strap is very firm, especially the beginning of it, where it has the padding. Um, but I'll put it on. Compared to my Tissot Quickster, it's a fairly big beast, as you can see. So let's move on to number two. Okay, here's the second of two watches, maybe a two-part video. Now, this one is more expensive, cost 30 bucks if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure about that. Actually, I picked 15 for the first. Yes, this one cost $29.99. That is what it costs now. And let us unbox. There we go. Easier to do that off camera. And out we go okay it is a hyken hyjin hi blah blah however you want to pronounce this name comes with a sleeve don't need that magnetic kind of cute packaging is a weird as you can see snake skin texture well let's open it magnetic okay so we got a cleaning cloth we got an English international guarantee, a user manual in English. Uh, let's see. Model one, two, three, four, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Little protective coating, some more protection, and here is the watch. Okay, it's heavy. I can already tell you it's heavy. 
It's nice and blue, which is interesting. Comes in a little baggy. Let's open the bag. The hiking, the strap, stays like any of these straps. Gold, oh gold, gold colored movement. Uh, the watch does hand wind as a hack. Nope, doesn't hack. Don't care. It's more of a dressy watch. A little bit thick on the thicker side, but you know, square. Kind of cool the way they did this. Uh, automatic movement, stainless steel, three atmospheres water resistant, and the number, as you can see, everything is goldish in the back, and there's a lot of nylon protecting it. So, yeah, this watch came in several different iterations of colors and packaging. I chose the more expensive color, more expensive strap, and more expensive packaging, which included the box. So I'm more satisfied with this one than the other one, and I will now go away, and hopefully reviews of both of these will be coming up shortly.